What is up guys, Card Doctor here, and today I'm here with another Card by Vanguard unboxing video. Today we'll be unboxing the Orphis starter deck. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So, with the three new decks that came out, I think um, they are really good value. And mainly it's because of the promos, but I think the, 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 so the whole thing in, in itself is actually just pretty, pretty solid, uh, all in all. So we're going to look at all of the stuff that this starter deck comes with, as well as some of the promos it comes with, and just basically my thoughts on the product. So we'll be opening the other two as well, but Orphis is the deck that I'm looking for the most, and so let's do this one first. So we have the Orphis sleeves, which looks pretty, pretty cool, and the storage box also looks very, very nice. So definitely gonna put that into good use. This comes with a deck box, which is nice because I don't actually have a deck box for my Orphis deck. So yeah, let's have a look at the actual storage deck itself now. So I think that's this after this is just just gonna be the main. Thing for this. All right, so here are the Orphis. This is from a reprint from the Festival Collection, I believe. So it comes with four of these. They're non-foil, so a little bit sad there, but that's okay. This is the rest of the ride line, which should be pretty standard if you are, if you have a previous Orphis deck. So get that zero one two. So I have this, this, I think this was previously either a double rare or a triple rare. Basically, when this card is retired, you, uh, in your Abyssal Dark Knight, you can call a Shadow Army token. So this is pretty useful. I'm not sure if I will run it in my new deck, but I think it's a nice option to have. Here's another one that gains uh, see all of your... Uh, this. I think if your world is up with Dark Knight, this unit gets boost. And you can enter it from the back row. And then on the Guardian Circle, it gets plus 10k shields. So it's a 15k shield. This was a triple rare before as well, which I already have. Uh, you want to get two, which is okay. And this was a common in, a common before. So you, let's look, search your deck. Grab two uh, world cards. Pretty interesting. But you get, so this is a uh, Plexus Dragon. So when this card is placed on the rear guard circle, if you're a fan of Orphans is the name, you can still watch one. Choose a world card with a different name uh, in your order zone from a, from a drop zone and put it into your order zone. So it lets you expedite your orders, which helps out with the Orphis. And when this card is put into drop zone or hand during your battle phase, you can if you uh, you can draw a card if your world is Dark Knight or Abyssal Dark Knight. Sorry, uh, when this card is put from your rear guard or hand to the drop zone. So if this card is used to discard for your Orphis effect, you can still get the draw. So it's 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 a very very versatile card, and I think buying this deck you mainly want to get this one because this is kind of an ex exclusive card for this deck. This is one of the new cards. Actually, I think this is one of the only new cards that we get. But, yeah, it's, it's very solid. And I think the Orphis, this deck, I believe, is probably the most popular out of the three, just because uh, Mask is coming out for Orphis soon. So, yeah. So it's important to get those. And I believe this, this is a double rare before, I believe. So you get two of those. And we do get perfect guards. You get the Good, good, the good perfect guards, not the bad perfect guards. And you also get the over trigger and common. Everything is common in the deck is common, so uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's it's good for starters. This is a Haji Mayo deck after all, so it's fine. You get four crits, four more crits, four draws. I wish the better the draws were added into this deck, but that's okay. Those those draws, I think they did go down a bit in price, but it doesn't help. It, it helps if, you know, we get a little bit, get them a little bit more. Hopefully, you know, in future, Star decks will get the trigger 
the effect triggers instead. But it's okay. This is fine. So we have four heals as well. And here are the actual set orders. So this is one that gives your Shadow Army tokens plus 5k when they're played. So four of those. Four of these, I believe. Oh, three of these. Okay, three of the one that lets you draw one. This is the one that lets you play the Shadow Army token. This is so blast and this is kind of blast. So total you get nine world cards, which I think is a pretty standard number. And we also get Shadow Army tokens. Five of those. And here are the promos. So this is so this one, uh, when this unit is placed in a regular circle, you can count this one, search your deck for a set order, reveal it, and if your over if your order zone has a card with saving as that card, put it in your hand. So next is when this unit attacks, you can uh, choose two of your set orders. The same name. I would choose two. And for the second effect of this card, if when this card attacks, you can choose, choose two set orders, and if they have the same name, uh, this card gets plus 10k. So this will help, this will help you swing for pretty big numbers. It's pretty good. Uh, we have also this one, which has to be stand by rest retiring three of your Shadow Army tokens. We also have Combine Rusher, Bobamin. And we do have the Order Perfect Guard that lets you block triple drives for free. So very nice reprints. These are all very, very useful cards. A little, bit, never, a little bit of a shame that we don't get one of each copy, but that is okay. They could have given us a, at least like two copies for buying this deck. Because if you do want to get a place of these, you're going to have to buy four of these decks. But usually... Uh, when these are released, I, I believe the prices did go down, so that's fine. I think the promos are really, really good reprints. And this deck is just is just solid overall. I think uh, it's a very good jump-off point for new players. So, yeah, definitely pick this up. If you're interested in playing Orphus and you want to prepare for the mass deck, this is definitely, you know pretty hype so definitely pick us up but that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below but this is a card and i'll see you guys next time